Well, welcome to tonight's show. You're with Tom, Brian, and Steve, and this is Anna Roth from the sidelines. And we haven't had a show for now about three weeks. Yes, that's right. And the people have been screaming for a return. Screaming, yes. Screaming. There have been petitions. Our fans are going crazy. It's Scott Morrison. The streets. Our Scott, fans are crazy. Scott Morrison <laughs> has, has been singled us out in Parliament for not having a show, so we have to come back. You're saying our fans are revolting. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them are. Let's, 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 let's be honest. Some of them are. But oh, Barry, nice. no. Sorry, Barry, no, no. Seriously. I'll leave Barry alone. I'm going to talk about Barry. Barry. Barry and I had a conversation on the way up in the car, and I'm going to talk about our conversation later. Yeah. yeah how are we? Idiot. We're at three weeks away. Gentlemen, how are we? We've got a lot well, to talk about. Well, we do. And if we're just talking about how am I with the football, <laughs> wow. Wait Did you next pick week. a winner? Yes. Did I pick multiple winners? Yes. <laughs> Am I very happy? Yes. Did you do well? I did very well, Steve. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I dropped off for a couple of weeks, but I'm back. Okay. It's back. Tom, you doing well? Well, tipping wise, I'm up and down. I had an awful week this week, but you know, last week, good. Tom, yeah. do you want to explain to us why we're wearing beanies again? Yes, we are celebrating. Although the round is finished now, we're celebrating the beanies for brain cancer ra- round. Where um, the Mark Hughes Foundation was celebrated and uh, managed to raise $3.1 million from the wow. sale of beanies and donations, which I think is a fantastic effort. And uh, it's a great round. I mean, oh, you absolutely. see the players coming out with their beanies on, the coaches, anybody who's in front of a camera gets to wear their beanies, and hence that's why we're wearing ours. Yeah. Because be no, we're, we're celebrities in front of a camera. <laughs> Here you go and ruin it. <laughs> Celebrities. That's a good word. <laughs> so, so we have actually have, haven't had a show since, I think, State of Origin. And everyone's thinking, oh, that was ages ago. It's done and dusted. But yes. we haven't had, actually had anything yes, since before the right. third and game. it was so. his fault. That's right. No. Mr. Mr. I'm in Disneyland working. Yes. I was in Disneyland working. <laughs> I was in a number of different places working. And, I, and you know what? It was hard. We actually went out to see the Grand Canyon. Right. Oh, tough work, that... And it was, well, it was, it was a five-hour drive to get there. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, what were we doing at that time? Oh, you were sleeping, drive, actually, because it's America. And no, drive, yeah, yeah, so yeah, you would have been sleeping. But no, we haven't had a show for a while, so we've got to get started. Yes. Um, we hope um, that everyone comes back to us. There are thousands of viewers. I hope you all come back. If you see some people that you know that used to watch the show and aren't, send them the show, share whatever you can, and let's get all our thousands of viewers back again. And when you go to yeah. YouTube... Click on the like button. Yeah, we'd like to know if you like And become a member if you're not already a member. Yeah. Ooh, do. Don't, but if they don't watch us, if they watch us, wouldn't they like us anyway? Oh, you don't have to like, don't have to tick the like oh, Okay, but no, we want you to like. Yeah. And, and I want to buy and a jersey. Comments. Where do I go? If you're going to buy a jersey, Steve, you'd go to Guy Star. Would I? Where no, I got oh, this. Oh, 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 oh. See, you oh, know what, I was, I was going to give Darren a plug, but because you keep selling him <laughs> rooster stuff, I'm not going to. Hey, yeah. He didn't sell me anything, I went there and bought it myself. Yeah, yeah. I can't beauty. believe that he even has stuff from Bondi in the Windsor store. Yeah. That's right. But, you know, if you're in Bondi, he could post it to you online. He could. True. Mm. But why would he keep reserve grade stuff online? Excuse me. Sorry, yes. okay. All right. Can you read? NRL Premiers 2018. History. I keep getting told I can't talk about history. That's yeah, history. that's right. That's all you do talk about is South history. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, at least we have. We're we going to talk about round 19 because that's I don't know, this is more fun history. history. <laughs> okay, let's. Uh, all right, um, let's talk about round 19, gentlemen. The season is coming to an end. Uh, Points Bet Stadium, Cronulla, and North Queensland, Cronulla winning 16-14 for second week in a row. Cowboys were well ahead, or reasonably ahead, Yep, and got run down at the end. They have no creativity, is their problem. No Michael Morgan would add, add to that. Yeah, but you know, they, they, all they do is they've got big boppers who run up and hit the ball up, yep. and then they run out of ideas, unfortunately. I tipped, I tipped the Cowboys to beat the Sharks, so that the Sharks were struggling. And I thought, you beauty, the Cowboys are going to win. And I was the only one in two comps that actually tipped the, sh- the Cowboys. Yeah, you were. And I thought... Oh, you beauty, I'm a genius. And then the Sharks just rolled over the top of them because the Cowboys have no creativity. See, I think it's a different problem. Oh, well. I think for the for the second, third week in a row, I think uh, I think their interchange has been stuffed up. You, you get down to the final 20 minutes and most of our clubs will have, you know, 
two or three uh, interchanges left, mm -hmm. the Cowboys have got none. Mm -hmm. None. They start to run out of gas. They've got nowhere to go. But, well, that's but who's, part and parcel whose of problem is that? Well, I mean, if you're running out of out of interchange, then you've got a problem with your with obviously it's the coach who's bringing the interchange. Surely, well, yeah. that's what he said. Yeah, but I but I also think that whoever they've got on the park, uh, just they just lack creativity. Uh, you know, they didn't have enough um, enough spark at near the end of the game to to nail it. You know, to to ice the game. Um, yeah, and they let the sharks get back into the game. Yeah, now, it was the um, first time in about four weeks where the, the sharks haven't scored more tries than the other team and lost the game. Um, yeah, in saying that, the Sharks, the wheels have fallen off as well. Oh, yeah. You know, you well, talk, I don't know, they came back to win this one. Yeah, yeah but... the Cowboys. Cowboys are in 14th position. You know, but there. if you talk about you talk about creativity, you know, you've got Josh Dugan, Josh Morris, Sean Johnson, Chad, Chad Townsend. Like, they've got, they've got create, creative players there. They should be scoring a lot more points. They're yeah. missing Fafita and Wade Graham and Matt Moylan. Yeah, uh, and that they're pretty integral to that team. Yeah. Otherwise, they've got a fairly young, yeah, but young, young. It, it, but in saying that, they've they've missed those blokes for the majority of the season. And look how well they've gone. Yeah. Well, they have been going well. They didn't start. No, to, no. Well, they weren't going that well. The wheels didn't start to fall off until they all came back. Yeah. True. So, true. I don't know. I think both of those coaches are under pressure. Yeah. Well, it, well, yeah. I mean, there's talk that John Morris is under pressure. Yeah. But. You know that he, that he really doesn't have. I don't want. I don't want to say he's lost control of the of the locker room because he really hasn't. But he hasn't been able to work with those personalities. He's got a lot of ego in the team. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and what they're saying, what seems to be reported, is that he can't control the egos. Mm. No. Yeah. It has been. And, and you know what? And and I think that is. Um, there's a couple of things that happened uh, in that game where. The two opportunities for Cronulla to score down the sideline, yep. and the ball wasn't passed. Yes. Now yep. that happened twice, and 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 obviously, if, if a player thinks, "Well, I've got someone in front of me, I can pass for a winger who's open," I think I've got the potential to run over this guy. That was Josh Morris, wasn't it? No, Josh no, Morris, one of them, and Dugan. Dugan was Dugan was both of them, I thought. No, I think Josh Morris no, was one. Yeah, because uh, we've had a Morris problem as well. Same thing where they they try to go one out yeah. and uh, haven't passed the ball. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so look, I, I don't know, yeah, exactly. I don't know what the issue is there. So if it's ego, there's an issue. Yeah, well, yeah, well I, I think they'll be lucky to make the eight. All right, let's talk about another team that might be lucky to make the eight, and that's at McDonald Jones Stadium where the Newcastle Knights went down to the Tigers 28 to 26. Oh, yes. I mean, it had a controversial end, but but still, uh, you would have expected the Knights to bounce Well, the Knights, Knights got 12 nil ahead after, what, nine minutes or something? And they got a shellacking last week from the Roosters. Yeah. So you would have thought that they'd want to bounce back. Yeah, um, I, I I thought, look, that was that was bad. The ending of that game was, was terrible. Because uh, for those of you that need reminding, uh, Caelan Ponga was jostling for the ball with two other Knights players and a Tiger and uh, there was a, a, was a, a, pretty, heavy, a pretty heavy contact. Yeah. Um, nothing illegal. Um, and uh, Graham Annesley has come out today and said, uh, yeah, it was a harsh call. We got it wrong. But it didn't cost them the game. And I'm thinking, well, it actually kind of did cost them the well, game. Well, they would have got a seven-tackle set. They would have got a seven-tackle set and half to go. with their best attacking player on the field. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah I, we, we seem to be taking this um, shoulder charge thing too far. We had a rule that said you can't shoulder charge because you want to protect the player. That's fine. Mm. But now it seems that everything's a shoulder charge. Yeah. You know, whether, you know, there was an issue on the weekend where a player wrapped his arm around and one was tucked under, so therefore it was a shoulder charge. You know, this one on Ponga was a shoulder charge. Last week we had something where... Kick out, Villamani you know, kick out. Yeah. But he's come in, you could see his arm. His arm was out. His arm was out, and it was almost forward. Yeah. It was up, the other arm was tucked in, and I get that. But well, that's well, not the traditional and shoulder, Matt, and that's Matt not Duffy, what it was for. Matt Duffy shoulder charged the guy into, into touch. And nothing happened. Yeah. Immediately he's a mosquito. Yeah, yeah but still, still, but still if, if Naden had... If that was uh, Naden that he, he hit into, the, into touch. Yeah. If he had stayed down and held his head... Dufty would have been in trouble. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And, and it might have been a penalty try, and it wasn't. It was just a... Mm. Is that? So I think we've taken what we wanted to stop too far. We wanted to stop that very heavy collision 
Yeah. You know, where you get the whiplash and all mm. that sort of stuff. Mm. We've now, the refs have now taken it far too far, and now they have to go back again. It's a typical pendulum, you know. It is. It's going too far this way, so they instead of finding the middle ground, they go too yeah. far the other way. Yeah. I mean, th- what they wanted to do was stop um, stop players planting their feet and hitting yeah. someone in in the chest or, or higher with the shoulder. Yeah. And that that wasn't that. Yeah. Kick no. ours wasn't that. Dufty's wasn't that. And neither was Pongus. No. So, um, do we say anything about about the Tigers? I mean, they, they had a good comeback. I still think they're a little bit one-dimensional. They're mm, still just... Mm. They're hanging on Benji Marshall to do stuff for them. It is what it looks well, like to me. I don't know. I'm, I'm not I'm, suggesting that, that that all the time, but the play always goes to Benji. But but if, but if you have a look at most teams, the play... I mean, the play always goes to Cherry Evans. The play always goes to Kronk. I think that happens in a lot of teams. But what, what Tigers do have is they do have Farrah. Who, who can take a bit of that pressure mm. off Marshall? And look, you know, I I think they're they're you know that are they going to make the eight this year? Mm. I don't know. I think the Eels and the but Tigers are almost identical because they play a really really good game and they yeah. play a really ordinary game. Although I think the difference between the Tigers' best and worst is a lot smaller than the yes. Eels' best and worst. And I think Michael Maguire has really developed that team and he's trying to get a toughness out of them. Yeah, that they're not quite there yet. Yeah, yeah. I say I don't know if they'll make the eight or not this year, but yeah. they're on their way. They're on the right path. They're yeah. moving forward. Mm. Which yeah, is I think what the Tigers have done a decent job, I think, this year with what he's had. And I think they've got the nucleus of a good squad. Yeah, perhaps, perhaps. Well, you know, I mean, p- part of their problem is they've got no big boppers, but they've got their two biggest blokes playing in reserve grade because they want to get rid of them. Yeah. But uh, Eisenhuis is a good worker, but they're they're workers. They're not they're not flashy. No, they don't right. load a lot. Brooks is trying his heart out. Mm-hmm. He's, he's had a pretty good season, really, Brooks. Yeah. Um, <coughs> and Benji Marshall, Benji Marshall separate, celebrated his 300th last, last week, or the week before. Yep. And, and Robbie, Robbie Farrow. Farrow this week. And Robbie didn't even think he made 250 games. So mm. he's done really, really well. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go on to ANZ Stadium, where the Sassania Rabbitohs beat St. George Illawarra 20-16. to 16. Well, I know well, about that. I, I don't know... I don't know whether to be to be excited because Souths came home or disappointed because <laughs> the Dragons just don't know how to close out a game. Well, they, they you know what? I mean, you can't stop a forward pass, but... You know, like, look, hey, South, listen, South, don't talk forward South, passes South, because South, Manly had one as well, OK? South, Souths were the better team for most of the game. I'll yes, give, I'll 100%. Give that. But yeah, the Dragons found a way to, to get in front and um, with, what was it, a minute and five seconds or so to go... Yep. Dragon short kickoff, and the Rabbitohs take the legs out of this guy. He, no, he yeah, 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 no, 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 almost on his Pl- head, please, yep. and there's no penalty for that. Please watch it again. He yep. jumped into the players, no. and that's why it wasn't a penalty, no. because he ran forward and jumped into them. If you, you know what, no, that I did, and I looked at it excuse me, times. excuse me, Don't if that excuse was, me, excuse me, if that was on the goal line, that's a penalty. Every single and time. And then... Don't the ball is forward. passed for, it, it is it was forward. forward. It was forward by a mile. It, it wasn't forward by a mile. It, it, it might have been forward. Manly won because of forward pass. It might have been forward. And I, and, one because I was a better team. They, and I, and I thought maybe it was just me saying that because, you know, I don't like your team. There is a dis- but there was a number of commentators oh, yeah, said today 100%. that it was, it was a forward <laughs> And there are a number of commentators on... on Friday night, who said no, it was fair. Well, they'd oh, be wrong, would they? Yeah, they would be well, wrong. No, they're not wrong. Yeah, this is what you listen to, seriously. <laughs> There's a disease going around at the moment, and I'm afraid that you two are, 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 are ground are, are, zero are, are, when it comes called, to the disease. It's, all, it's called South, I've already won the comp. Yeah. Because yeah. that's what Barry said. That was part of the discussion on the way. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That yeah. Barry, Barry agrees with you that the comps are already won by South. It's a lay down disease. It was after round one. Seriously. Yeah, unless and, uh, you know, know unless, unless a team comes out and blows South off the park, yeah, unlikely to happen because they're a decent team. South have got a one. I can't believe that you two would would be so factual, incredibly accurate. biased, <laughs> but but so. <laughs> We have pots and kettles there. My goodness. And and by the way, Barry, Barry, hello, Barry. Barry wants me to let you know yeah. that he always had a soft. For South, he He's no longer has a soft spot. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's, 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 that. You ready for this? His second team now yeah. is the Roosters. 
Yeah, I, and I said... That's as nice as me. And, and, me no. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously? I'll take yeah. it. Thank and, you very much. And I said, wouldn't you go mad? He said, no, not manly. Well. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, hang on, think about 38 nil. He said, yes, it was 1975, and maybe I have to let that go. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all right. We hate I, miss, I missed this, I've got to tell you. Oh, dear. I, yeah. I Look, can't believe that you guys say what you do. I mean, a load of rubbish. But seriously, that game, it, it was a good game. Back and forward, back and yeah, forward. Yeah, it, it wasn't very high quality. No, I no, no. Was, no. I think it was a great game. You were just in charge for most of the game. South should have done more to win that game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it I'll, should never have got yeah. that close. No, well, yeah, for sure. I, I was watching it. I actually was watching with Steve, and, and I was just going, South. And by the this. way, not once did he say, oh, that was a 50-50 call that went to South, oh, because no. we lost most of the 50-50 calls. I was just scared. I wanted to until get out of there until, 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 until the very end. end. You realise I can't take anything you say yeah, seriously. Until the very end. I needed to get out of life. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That was that was shocking. Anyway. Well, yeah, so now, they're still, they're still okay. alive. And you've lost a lot of games at, at, at the end of the game, for the last couple of minutes. So yeah. it's got to concern you. Oh, no, because we've got one. So why does it concern well, you? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Well, at least why are we having this show then? Yeah. Yeah. What's the point of this show? <laughs> Let's just go well, straight to grand final night. I'm, I'm starting hooray, to, hooray, Rabbitohs. I'm starting to wonder why we're having this show as well. Yeah. <laughs> I, want, I, want to, I want to bring you to a St. George dropout. Oh! <laughs> oh. Talk about putting the boots in, Barry. Far out. Oh, yeah, there you go. Actually, that was pathetic. Oh, dear. Well, first, first of all, you've got to understand. Why was Vaughan... Even running towards it. I mean, if he knew he was behind, go the other way. Yeah, at least well, the, run my, in front my, of the my, my question is this: the referee saw him offside because the referee is standing there, yeah. watching the player run towards him and Hunt, and he didn't halt play. What was the ref doing? Well, the, because if it was any other time <coughs> and the player's offside, they go, whoa, 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 whoa. He let him kick the ball into what the? What? I'm sorry. It, it was it was a comical moment, and I and I was sitting there with Brian. I said, another thing you saw it. I think you saw it the first time, and I had to keep rewinding and trying. Look at it. Look at what it's doing. I, it was a funny I scene. Did. I just couldn't understand what was happening. No. But I just you, you know and you know I, I think you know let's give credit to Souths. They were That'll be a first. They were they were in control yeah, of the match. Long they were in control of the match and they won it and they won it in the last minute. They did not stop at any time. Sure. No. sure. Right. Minutes Scrappy and as, I was worried as soon as the kickoff happened, <laughs> I thought, you know what, South could win this. Scrappy as they were. Yeah. yeah. However, Dragons. Ben Hunt. Like yeah. seriously, yeah. I, I I look, Ben Hunt has good games and bad games. Mm. Yeah. He's just come off a State of Origin series where he played well. well way beyond what what most of us would have thought at playing with Hooker. Mm. He gets rested for the crucial game yes. after State of Origin. The Dragons needed to win that game against Panthers. Mm. He gets rested. He comes back against Souths. He knocks on three or four times. Just there's, It's yeah. just... He basically throws the ball away. Yeah. And then that kick... His head is not in the game. No, no, no I got to admit, he's he's somewhere else, isn't he? His and head is not in because the game. he's a one point two million dollar player. Everybody expects a whole lot more from him. Well, as you yeah. should. Yeah. No, if he was getting five hundred thousand, they'd go. Well, you know. What no, no, no. Like seriously, that. if that was your half yeah. making those mistakes, you'd be going. Surely there's someone else. Yeah. Well, that's right. You, yeah. I, I don't. I don't. I don't know. I really. Does don't. Mary does Mary survive the year? I think oh, they all picked to. him in, picked St. George for the top eight. <coughs> yeah, I did. I, I thought they were going to be a lot higher than... Um, I think he does. I think he sees out his contract. I don't think the Dragons have the resources to, to get rid of him. All right. Well, as, look, as much as I'd like to keep talking about this game, we shouldn't. Let's yeah. move on to another one that was very, very close. Shock mm. um, controversy. Parramatta 24 beat the Warriors 22. And I can't believe they pulled up the forward pass at the end of that. Yep. That was uh, two of us to check. That was a, yeah. that, that was same line <laughs> ball as when the <clears throat> South one. And oh, it was no, way, no. way, it went backwards. Yours went forward. No, no. it was line ball like the South <laughs> game. I thought we weren't talking about the South game anymore. I told you I wanted to keep doing it. Yeah. Um, mm. I mean, honestly, yes. now the Warriors CEO has come out and said, well, we're going to protest and we want all the supporters next week to dress up as referees and bring a whistle and 
<laughs> yeah. I think in oh, just that'll just be a disaster. If you have a thousand people yeah. in the auditorium all blowing a whistle, yes. oh, but that's yes. the last thing you want. But yeah, oh, I got nothing to say about that. Look, the, the, yeah. the Eels have moments of brilliance. Oh, yeah. they do. I mean, they've got a team that can do some incredible things. I mean, when Moses and and Gutherson are on, they're sensational. You know, yeah. it's just they yeah. don't do it consistently enough. I think Mike Acevo is turning into a semi, you know. He, he had a really good yeah. run where he pushed two players out of the way. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's becoming a semi. I mean, he's a long way to go, but still, he's, he's starting to show that those kind of qualities. Yeah. Um, but yeah. they just can't do it consistently enough. D- Dylan Brown makes a big difference to the team, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's uh, probably an underrated uh, linchpin. He's just got speed. Yeah. Yeah. When, when, he, when he gets the ball, the defence goes straight away two minds. Yeah. yeah. I think you can't you can't really beat that. If you want that in your halves, sure. So I, I think I think he takes a lot of pressure off uh, Gutherson and Moses because he's he's constantly asking questions, mm. and they know if you if you slip on him, he's going to make meters. Yep. So I think that's that's probably the big difference with the Eels. He's back and they look dangerous for long periods. Sure. Where did the Warriors go? Oh, back to New Zealand. Yeah. But I mean. <laughs> They're just, you know, they're, they're just caught in a rut. I mean, you just never know what you're going to get. I've said this a thousand times. Yep. I, I don't know. And you just don't ever tip them with any confidence. I mean, I, I, honestly, I thought they should have won that game. That, oh, that, yeah. That try at the end, that, that was yeah. that yeah. should never have been yeah. called back. Yeah. But but they, but they always make it too tight. I mean, there, sh- there should be a team sure. that should be winning by 10, you know, and yeah. it should be confidently mm. 10, 10 points ahead with 10 minutes to go. Yeah. And they just never, they just never are. Isaac Luke had a good game, although... He, Except he tipped somebody on his head. It, it, yeah, accidentally. I don't think there was any... <laughs> that well, was... Lots, lots it was, of players was, get tipped on their yeah. head. Some <laughs> get charged, some don't. To me, it, it was a one-out tackle and he looked like he had a lot of intent there. Oh, d- uh, no, I think... You can't... You, yeah. Oh, look, Tom, bought, Tom opened up the gate. All right, Ready? Tom opened this up. He said intent. And you're going to be the ball that's going to run it, through it. Well, oh, let, intent or not, he just seemed he seemed to be going through the tackle. I think, I think his, his me, intent was in the tackle, not in spearing him. Let me let me, me just well, maybe not. I let me just say. He meant to do let that. me just say, Ricky Stewart has come out today and said, if the intent's not there, you should just play on. Hmm. I don't think you can judge no. intent. You can't judge intent. It's if, if a player is tipped upside down, above the horizon, ab- above the horizontal. Yeah. That's it. That's a penalty. Yeah, no, that's, I, don't, I, don't I think you know, um, Kotrick, Kotrick, <coughs> Luke, and Trebojevic. There's really yep. no difference in those tackles. Yep. Honestly, there's no and, difference. And the, the, the problem is that, uh, you know, Kotrick was, what, four, five three, weeks? Three weeks. You know, that's four weeks that he got downgraded. Ridiculous. Trebojevic, n- none. Yeah. And Isaac Luke's probably going to cop two. Yeah. yeah. Well, they've got, uh, well, Kotrick doesn't have any, any form. Um, Luke's got form. Yeah, and but, Jake's a clean skin. Yeah, but it doesn't. It doesn't matter. No, no, but it, but but that matters in terms um, of their, their their carryover points. But but it shouldn't. Point. It's I was actually I'm actually I'm surprised that Jake I, and I love Jake. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm surprised that he wasn't charged there. I, I think I think there's. But hang on, he, he was charged. Yes, he was charged. Yeah, he was charged. But, he but, was clear, but it was it was the grading. It was the grading of the charge yeah, yeah, as yes, well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, straight away, if a player gets hit, gets upended, it should be a week off, yeah. well, regardless. At least two, I think. I think it shouldn't be a week. It should be at least two for, for for that kind of tackle. I think it should be at least two. Anyway, you know. So and instead, we get Kickow, who r- tried to wrap his arm around a player and got there a little bit late. He gets two. Yeah. Oh, that's no, no. anyway. No, no. Okay, let's go on to Seabus Super Stadium, where the Broncos. Easily convinced to beat the Titans 34 to 12. We got what we expected, didn't we? Yep. Should the Titans be doing better? Yep. I mean, they, they look like they're, they're trying a bit more, mm. but there's still nothing there. Yep. Yep. They should, okay. be, they should be doing better. Yeah. Um, are not, the Broncos not, back? No. They had to beat the Titans. I think they're better than they were a few weeks ago. Uh, and I think the movement of... Um, Milford back to, to fullbacks probably made a bit of bit, a bit better balance. Yep. Uh, I, you know, I mean, you you bought what was his name? Um, uh, the guy who's playing seven. You, you started in as a um, Turpin. 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 So he came in for two or three games in as hooker, and now he's their halfback. You know. Yes, but that's um, only because Dearden is. Gone. Oh yeah, but yeah. I mean, but you know, he's doing a pretty good fist of a job. Yeah. I think. Yeah. You know? oh, I think they're still a bit disjointed. I think they're they're winning because they're. 
they've got a lot of class everywhere in the team. Yeah. So Darius Boyd at 5'8's working for you? No, not really. Mm-hmm. But, you know, he's got another, what, two, three years on that contract. He's not going anywhere. Well, you look at their forwards. Well, I mean, they're, they're forwards. They've got, you know, Pangai Lodge, uh, Flegler. Uh, Offen Gowie, Haas. Offen Gowie, Haas. Um, Carrigan coming off the bench. Yep. They've got some big, big boys, you know. Oh, and yeah. Some, and some, you know, in two, two or three years' time, if they can keep them. They're going to be an awesome pack. Have you, have you heard the rumour about the South Broncos swap? Oh, what are you, what are you guys doing now? Right now? Jaden Asako for Corey Allen. Corey Allen back to yeah. back to the Broncos. Jaden Asako coming down with Bron- with Bennett. Um, next year. Yeah. Won't happen this year, but next year. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and I've and I got to say, I think the Broncos would be crazy to let him go. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, yeah. I, I think he's a great yeah, centre. I really hope. Yeah. Yeah, but he's always said the reason... You're not, you're not talking about Stags. No. No, no. It's okay. Jermaine 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 Sarko. Sarko. Yeah. Jermaine yeah. plays wing. Well, yeah. so does Goran. He's a kicker. Yeah. 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 But, um, I take Stags. I tell you, just, just, just in saying that, though, Isako is a Cronulla junior who went to Brisbane because he wanted to play with Bennett. Right, okay. So it would mm. kind of make sense that if he could... Mm. Yeah. 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 I don't know. So, what do we... I mean, there's been no report yet as to who the new... Titans well, they, they said that they were going to offer it to, to Kevy without an interview and he was, he was laid out yeah, there. But, but he's been saying all weekend, no, he's I, not going to take it. We, we, well, we were told yeah, that we'll because see. he and, wanted and an interview. You, know, you, you were telling me a while ago that it's only Wayne Bennett who lies. Nobody else ever lies. So, did so you say that, Tom? Tut, tut, tut. Yes, he did. I did not. That's a lie. Um, it's another <laughs> South liar. Yeah, you along with Bennett. Yeah. <coughs> we're like this. We're, uh, <laughs> and I, we're buddies. Yeah, yeah, liars. I don't know. Anyway, Titans. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? They've got they've got some good players there. Um, one interest. There was a couple of interesting little uh, snippets on Facebook about uh, Proctor giving what's his name the halfback, Tyrone, Ashley. Huh? Tyrone Roberts. Yeah. Oh, okay. Giving giving him a gobble on the way out. They're, they're not a yeah, harmonious no, team. Dysfunctional. No. Yeah. And and what you can you can understand that they've now lost their coach. They've all been told that the contracts are going to be reviewed. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah but then but then they grab a hold of players, and they say, "What do you think about this coach? Mm. You're the player. Yeah. You, yeah. You you're contract to the club. Yeah. You play. For you play who we give you. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> I want to. You want to play first grade football? You do what the coach says. Yeah. You don't say, "Nah, I think I like this bloke better than this bloke." Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Mm. All right, let's go to Amy Parker and another oh, let's team go to who, who just, 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 just got just. over the line. Oh. Amy Parker, manly senior. <laughs> I was texting you and saying, how's your heart? <laughs> no, I wasn't answering. <laughs> manly senior goes 11, Melbourne Storm 10. Look, that, this, wow. is, this is the best game of the season. Now, I've got to bring up Sally. Sally, we know, is a, is a mad Melbourne Storm supporter. Oh, she hates Manly, too. And, and she picked Manly in the tipping competition. I know. What's with that, Sally? And you know what? I, I'm pretty sure, Sally, I think if you go back and check, the last time you tipped against Melbourne, they lost as well. Yeah, what are you... Oh, well, Sally knows everything. Keep now. tipping against <laughs> Melbourne. <laughs> oh, what a game, hey? That, yeah, i gotta, I got to say, it's, it was a very good game. It was a terrific game. Not without controversy? Oh, yeah. No. But like all the games this weekend, not without controversy. Be- because again, a forward pass decided the end. How do you figure that? So where was the forward pass? The forward pass yeah, what are you talking about? Because it was a forward pass from in was it 45 seconds from the end of extra time. That yeah. it was a forward pass of Melbourne that was picked oh, up. Yeah, just oh, for, oh, as, as opposed, as man, opposed on, anyway, excuse me. For Manly to have the opportunity to kick the goal in the first place. Excuse me, as opposed to the, to the four that we had called back that weren't forward. Brad Parker tackled without the ball. Cherry Evans smashed by a monster after he kicked. And a legitimate try disallowed. Oh, no. What legitimate try was disallowed? What? What? What, what legitimate try Just was disallowed? Just make it easy for us, will you? Okay. Manly had a Paint try. A Manly had a try uh, that went for review. So Cherry Evans has gets the ball from mm. uh, the hooker, little Mancy Fanoa. Uh, players running through like they always do. Passes it out, can't remember to who, who passes it to someone else, who passes it to someone else who scores. No try because Cherry took it on the inside shoulder 25, 30 metres back. I mean, seriously. Yeah, some, some of the, some the, the NRL need to have a serious look at themselves. And that I, rule is supposed to be 
if the player who scores is impeded in scoring the try. If not not something happened on the field forty meters away. No, 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 no. And and, and some sometimes when the this oh, may not be referenced man. here, but sometimes the, the ref will say um, I've got a try, I just want to check the ground in. So what they do, they go back to three yeah. tackles before. I think he didn't ask you for that. Yeah. You know, and, and so the bunker sometimes just gets far too involved. I yeah. I gotta say I, I agree this is hard to say, but I agree with you. That try that, that was scored Curtis Cyrano from memory, yeah. Nobody was in no the defensive no. line was not impeded. No. no. And, and and if you take if you take that rule, then any player who passes behind another player, regardless yeah. of where the you defensive know, you, know, you know what it was, after Cherry Evans took the ball, Cameron Smith ran two metres and fell over into the player that ran through. And then when the when the try was scored, he straight away rushes the ref and starts Talk, say yeah, okay. inside shoulder, inside yeah, okay. shoulder. But, but they did look at it again. And, and you know, they've done it before. They said the defensive line has not been impeded. Yeah. So I don't know why they didn't say then, because it wasn't impeded. So I, I don't, yeah, yeah. I, I agree with oh. you. I, don't, I think that was a try. Look, <coughs> it was a good game. Absolutely. It, it was a 90-minute smash of on. Feel so, I feel sorry for I feel sorry for uh, for us next well, week. I, 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 I said I texted him and I said, "Oh, geez, I wish I was playing Manly or Manly or Melbourne this week." That was oh, smashed. Just you know, it, everything. You know what? In saying that, I think that uh, it it frustrates me when commentators uh, keep saying, "Oh, Melbourne cool as a cucumber." They were frustrated beyond they were, belief. Yeah, they they made some really silly errors. Yeah. Just due to to the defence because they're not used to being that under that kind of pressure. Oh, yeah. absolutely. No. But um, I, I was just amazed that, uh, and I know that the I don't know why Kevin Walters keeps getting manly games because the guy is he obviously hates manly. <laughs> <laughs> he never has a nice thing to say. There were there was what six field goal attempts in that. I, I got two, it to eight. two off. There were eight. Two off the two post. Two off the post. Yes, there were eight. I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. restate something. I hate Golden Point. Mm-hmm. I want extra time. I think it should be extra time. So, well, no, I, yeah. sorry. I think it should be extra time. What's wrong with the draw? I think it should be extra both time. Both of those that, teams deserve to draw. I know. Yeah, no, they deserve need, to lose I every need, week. I know you don't <laughs> agree, but I actually thought a draw was a fair result in that game. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Uh, but, you know, the, the theatre of getting a winner was good. I mean, you know, if, you, if you'd if you missed it and they'd gone up the other end and Cam, Cameron Smith had kicked it, you would have been dirty. Yeah, I would have. I would have been shedding tears. Yes. Right. yes. <laughs> so the, so the people have been saying, "How good is Golden Point? What an exciting game!" Well, that's great if you win. Yes. And if you yeah. don't have any involvement in the game. Yeah. But if you're the support of the team who loses, you're gutted. Imagine being Brick the Broncos in 2015. You know, to to lose by a goal. Like gold oh point, yeah. You know, in, in, in a grand final. final. Yeah. 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 I think that's a lousy way to lose. So do I. Yeah. Just okay. Just let's make it extra time. Anyway. And, and, um, can I? Can I just say? Yes. You, the the man, manly offloads killed killed storm. Mm. They couldn't control it. Yeah, yeah. So for, forty two tackle breaks. Okay, Can that's I, that's pretty phenomenal okay. against the storm. Des has the coach of the year. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is there any doubt? No. no. Well, yes, but oh, you're not going to say Wayne Bennett, surely? No, 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 no. Well, who then? Goodness me. Oh, I think, I think there's some play, some coaches who are doing considerably well. Yeah, maybe. That's a hate to say. It. Maybe Ricky. Yeah, I think he's I think really, he's really. Oh, uh, what? Because uh, he had a top five team. Now he's got a top four team. No, because their defence has been on song this year. Yeah, their defence has been really exceptional. See, this we year. play them soon. We'll Don't you worry. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's let's go on to ANZ Stadium where the Roosters narrowly. Yep. Just got out of jail against well, the Dogs. Well, I, I wouldn't quite go that far. But oh, it was a go to the Doggies! It was a, <laughs> it was a very unimpressive display. We should have gone in at halftime 30 nil. Or well, the Roosters should have gone in at halftime 30 nil. They blew lots of chances. And the second half, I thought the Dogs were really very good. They won 12-6 the second half. Mm. I thought they were very good. And the Roosters had to defend their hearts out. Um, uh, it was I, a very uninspiring game. Oh, yeah, oh, absolutely yeah. it was. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I got frustrated ridiculously frustrated with uh, my team um, <laughs> and the text go the doggies oh, you don't man. respond when I when I say yeah, because it's, yeah, it's funny yeah. I, I, I came back into Sydney on Friday yeah and I get a text from Tom it says go cows I'm thinking go cows 
So I texted him back, question mark, question mark, what does this mean? Because didn't I was hear, the only one that texted Didn't hear anything back. But Souths were playing the Dragons, so I couldn't work it out. What I realised was, he actually probably sent it a week or so before, <laughs> and they were playing the Cowboys, and I never got it. And I could not work out what's going on. Like, Tom, you're losing it. Why are you saying go Cowboys? Tom is losing it. He's supposed so, to look, there, there was, <laughs> there was a forward, There was a, a, a tried slab because of a forward pass, and I thought that was line ball. Um, Tedesco to... Uh, oh, yeah. It was, to, to it was much. It was much more... Backwards than the south one. Yeah, it was. It was really flat, and it was. And it was, a beaut- it was a beautifully set up try as well. Um, they went through about six sets of hands, and it would have been a beauty, and would have also been Cooper Cronk's one hundredth try. Yeah, would have, um, could have, wasn't. But anyway, look, I, I, I think. And you're in trouble with Rory Hargraves. Yeah, 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 and we've got Cordner and uh, Tekiaho with calf injuries, and they'll be at least a couple of weeks. So yeah. you know, I, I, I think just Cordner's going to be the big loss for you. We can't keep seventeen men on the field. It's just really frustrating, and that's why I think. We're, we're, we're not looking... Mate, you've you got a lot of salary cap space. You'll be right. It's okay. Yeah, that's right. You, See, this time last year, we had, we had a healthier squad, mm-hmm. and um, we, they were getting their combinations working. We haven't had a chance to get our combinations working at all this year, and that's been the hard part. So anyway, uh, look, I, on the dogs, though, I think um, dogs certainly have earned the right not to be on the bottom because I think they play much better than a, than a, a wooden spoon team. Who should um, be on the bottom? Titans. Titans, Titans for sure. Um, but but yeah, I, I think that uh, credit to, to Dean Pay. He's just he's just instilled some character into a team that's pretty uninspired in Sauri. I tell you what, I will hop away though. He never plays a bad game. Blah, 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 blah. I know. He's a sensational player. Just because he's a manly boy. I'll oh, go away. Um, All right, let's go on to Panthers like Stadium. Let's uh, well, not go on to Panthers Stadium. Players. Yes. Uh-huh. I said let's not go on to Panthers. Let's go on to Panthers Stadium. Where Canberra Raiders beat the Panthers thirty to eighteen. This was supposed to be the match of the round, but it really wasn't. I don't know. I actually thought this was a good game. I didn't mind it. I, I, it was intense. Oh There's yeah. There's a flare up in the middle of it. Oh yeah, they didn't stop. They they were ready to kill each other. That's what you want. It, you know? it looked to me like the Panthers came out firing for about 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. And then the Raiders said, no, nope, you're not having it. And then they just basically asserted their authority in the next 50, 60 minutes. Oh, I'm going to say, I, I don't know. I, think, I, 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 thought, I, thought, uh, I thought there were a couple of lucky Panthers, uh, sorry, lucky Canberra Raiders. Tra- Raiders tries. And, yeah, and, and Canberra are a good enough team that if a little bit of luck goes their way, they're not stopping. But that's why they're such a good team, I think, is they're taking their opportunities. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And they're defending their hearts out. I mean, you know, it was 18 points in the end, but those... You know, after the first try in the third minute, yeah. it was 48 and then 69 minutes, so it was yeah. spread apart. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know. Yeah. Oh, I'm hearing you. I, I tell you, I really like that uh, that winger that's got the first tie. Two, 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 two. Brian Toho. Man, he's like a missile he's when he gets the ball, yeah. isn't he? It's Athletic. like, bang! And you know what? They've got, a, they've, got a, they've got a production line of all of them just waiting to, to get it yeah. together, yeah. Yep. honestly. You know, recently, this year, they've had Naden, Liam Martin, um, Mitch Kenny, the the hooker, yep. this t- old guy. I mean, they just keep producing them. Yep. And, there's, Martin, and there's word that they're trying to move on Campbell Gillard, no, Campbell Regan Gillard. Campbell, yeah. Yep. Off to Parramatta. And he's just actually improved. Right? He's actually improved this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This start of the season. Well, they're getting rid of James Maloney. Yeah, he's off to France. France, France yes. Yeah. Yeah. Viva la France. <laughs> Won't he be a culture <laughs> shock to France? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Kind of funny, isn't it? You might like be a fly on the wall when you go to a friend's cafe. <laughs> nah, mate. I really like some of those uh, those things over there. Uh, those cr- seasonings. The cross up, cross up, cross up, cross up. i got to tell you, uh, isn't um, Jared Croker a special player? I, you know, yeah. I, I know he's not the superstar, but his effort every single game. Yep. To dive on that mm. loose ball, to yeah, you know yeah, I mean, yeah. he is superb. It, like, is, it is effort, yeah. His kicking's a bit off at the moment. Yeah. Maybe. Actually, there's a few kickers that are, are off at the moment. Yeah. yeah. Reynolds is a bit off. Yeah, Reynolds has had a terrible game. I mean, they, they probably should have won that game with his kicking. I think he missed yeah. three or four conversions. From the sideline, and then the last one where he didn't have to worry about it, he kicked it. Yeah. Um, Latrell's kicking really well at the moment. Yeah. So, anyway. So, who wants to do the later, gentlemen? I'll right. do the ladder. Okay, you do the ladder. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, leading the pack is Storm, 32 points. Then we have the Bunnies in clear second, 28 clear points. Clear second. Clear second. 
uh, 28 points. Uh, we have uh, the Roosters and the Raiders rounding out the four, the top four on 26 points. The Mighty Eagle standing alone in fifth place. Home semi at Brookie, uh, 24 points. <laughs> what? This is the ladder. I'm not saying anything wrong here. Uh, it's that home so semi that he's laughing at. So he doesn't moment. want to win any more games. He yeah. just wants to no, 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 no. I don't want Canberra to lose anymore. Uh, Eels on 22. Uh, uh, that's sixth. Seventh are the Panthers on 20. And the eight, clear eight, Broncos on 19 points. We have a plethora of teams below them. Newcastle, Sharks, Tigers all on 18. Warriors on 17. Cows on 16. And they're gone, along with the Dragons on 14, the Dogs on 12, and the Titans for another spin. Okay, so, the Dragons so, are in a precarious place, aren't they? Well, they're gone. So Titans can't make the 8. Canterbury dog, Bulldogs can't make the 8. Dragons can't make the 8. Mm. Yeah, I think... Mathematically, the Cow- they can, but it depends on where you, where you put 8th spot. And but I, I, think, I think... But again, you've got, to, you've got to remember the, the t- teams above you have to fail. So that's right. So what are the There's six weeks to go. There's 12 points in total. You'd only get to 26, and I think you're going to need at 28. least 28. Yeah. Even the Cowboys, I don't think, can make it. Yeah. Well, I would say that the probably the Warriors' chances were cruel. I think they needed to... Yeah. Mm. To, to yeah. stay in touch, they needed to win. Well, imagine so, that would have been 19 points, which means they would have actually would have gone by the Knights. That's right. yeah. It would have been 9. Yeah. Yeah. So are, are we prepared to say now that no one below the Tigers can get in the 8? Yep. Yeah. Right, it's it's a tough call on the Warriors. I mean, the Tigers winning every game will get them to thirty points. I, I I don't think the Warriors have the ability to win every game from here on in and make the eight. So I think they're gone. Okay. So Tigers. I mean, you have to say Tigers. Sharks because, and because the Sharks and, and the Knights are there as well. So right. if the Knights don't don't pick up, then they'll be falling like a stone. Okay. So gentlemen, two questions without notice. Yes. First one, the best fullback going around at the moment. Now. No, no, no. Yeah, it is a lay down, was it? You can't pick Turbo. Oh, what? And you can't pick Teddy. Well, you just dropped out the two best fullbacks in the game. Okay, well, no, no problem. Pick, no, no. So, and Alex so, Johnson's not playing. I'm not talking about Johnson, but you got Ponger and you got RTS. So why do we have to leave them two out? Because I want you to pick for your team. If you didn't have Teddy and you didn't have Turbo, who would you pick? I, I would I would go Ponger. I think he plays more like Teddy. Hmm. Yeah, uh, more, more, sorry, more, more like Turbo. I've got a soft spot for Roger, but I think I'd probably have to go upon that. So, so would we be saying? So would would you? So okay, so so you pick Ponga above RTS. So because let, I think let's got, take him out. Because I think I think Ponga's got more to his game than than Roger. Roger's See, I'm surprised speed. you didn't pick Turbo, and I'm surprised you didn't pick. We're Teddy. allowed to pick them. He's allowed to pick Teddy. Oh, okay. We didn't say that. Well, I'm still not picking Teddy. I'm, I'm still picking Ponga. I'm saying you can't pick oh, okay. Teddy. Well, I well, picked Tom. I picked Tom. I think I, I, Tom's got more to his game than, than I, the other but, two. But I, see now, see, I, this is but this is the problem. See, I think just if you've got a traditional fullback in the game, yeah. your two best would have to be Teddy and Roger, and Roger is not there because he he fades in and out. But I think Ponga and and Tom, I think that they offer more than just fullback. I think they've got a lot to their game, more than just a fullback. And in three or four years' time, I think those two are going to redefine how a fullback plays. But right now, if you look at it, at it so, say for Souths, which one would you pick? If I, if I had to pick someone from fullback at Souths, I'd probably pick Teddy. Why? Because he's into the game more. I don't know about that. I, I do. I, I, I think Teddy constantly monitors where he should be and pops up in the right places. Yep. So, and, he, and he can break a tackle. That's the one thing I have against Usaus. I mean, I like Alex Johnson and I like Corey Allen, but they don't break a tackle. Mm. RTS will break a tackle. Yeah. Ponga will break a tackle. Turbo and Teddy will break tackles. Well, yeah. I think the thing that Tom's got is that he's got, he's got his height. He, mm. He's also um, he's uh, he's more rangy and um, I'm, try, I'm trying to think what I'm going to say. The thing with Teddy is, and the thing I've been a little bit frustrated frustrated with him is that he we've said before he's a bit of an only child. Mm. You know, there are times when he should pass and he doesn't pass, and he tries to think I've got to do it all. Sometimes he does something incredible, incredible with with that. Yeah. But then a lot of times he just gets yeah. he just gets held down. Whereas I think Tom. 
will be in the right place to take the ball, and, yeah. and he seems to well, score more that way. The, the the difference is, last year, if you'd asked me, I would have I would have even probably said Teddy was ahead of Tom. Mm. But I think this year, uh, look, I thought Tom had a bit of a problem under the high ball, and certainly when there was a ball skiddling along the ground, he just couldn't. He d- he just seemed to to miss. He's obviously worked on it. He, I don't think oh, I can't think of a mistake that he's made. Okay, well, he's okay. great in the but, air. But but in the in goal, I think Teddy is by far the the, the best of them all because I think um, he's the way he cleans up and the way he directs the, the yeah. team around. Yeah, I think he's okay. the best. Put the question on Facebook, will you tonight? Put the question on Facebook. The best the best fullback going around. And we'll get everyone to make a and comment why. on and why you think they why. are the best. Yeah. Because because everybody's going to have a different slant on why they pick their that yeah. way. And avoid, if you're a Rooster supporter or a Manly supporter, avoid picking your own because it becomes too obvious. My second question without notice. Dark horse for the competition. Raiders. You're going to say Manly? God, that, yeah. Mm. We're I mean, still under the radar, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually agree. I think the Raiders are the dark horse. I'm not. I, I think that their their defence like l- last year, defence won the Roosters the premiership. I think the Raiders uh, have got uh, just a cohesive mindset. Yeah. Something we ought to have now, but except except for all the, the injuries, um, and they're just looking like a team with a lot of self belief. Yeah. The other thing too is that, and again, I, I know I'm talking about my my team. The Roosters aren't scoring as freely as the, the Raiders can. The Raiders can find more points than, than other teams. And their defence is really good. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Raiders, Raiders for mine, I think that um, they're going to be a real threat. Yeah, because the, the one thing... I, I'm sorry, Brian, but the one thing about Manly is I don't think they can play like they played against Melbourne week in, week out. Well, see, I think, I think they can. Um, I'm just, just having a quick look at the Raiders' draw, though. Mm-hmm. They, they play Roosters, so they've got the Warriors, then the Roosters, yep. then the Storm, then Manly. Yeah. Uh, it's a tough draw. And followed up, up, and they play, and then the Warriors again. Oh, jeez, wouldn't you like that? Um, yeah, but that, but that could be the making of them as well. It can be. I mean, you don't want to go into the semis with easy easy wins. You you want to oh, test yourself. Yeah, hundred percent. So. Which you know, um, uh, there was a write up in the paper before this round where they had all of the all of the weightings of the, the teams coming into the eight, and they said, oh, well, Manly won't make it because they've got the hardest draw. Mm. Oh, I'm saying bring it on. Mm. Bring it on. I'm yeah, happy for that. Melbourne twice in the last half a dozen weeks. That's right. We could beat them again. Yeah. If we, we beat, Brookie, if we beat them Brookie. at Brookie, what will you say then, Steve? Say two points. No, no, yeah, I'd, I'd be happy for you to beat them at Brookie, but I, I'm just not convinced that that you can do it week in, week out. And I think come the pressure of the semis, that's when Manly will fold. But you know what? Hey, I, I picked Manly for the wooden spoon earlier in the year, so... Mm. So they've got what to be... do I know? They've got to be a dark horse, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go on to round 20. Gentlemen, there's six weeks to go... Yep. ...of the regular season. That's sad, isn't it? That's very sad. Yeah, which means winter's almost over too. All right, 1st of August on Thursday, we have the West Tigers playing North Queensland at Leichhardt Oval. Tigers. Michael Morgan's back. Tigers. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the Tigers, the Tigers are enough to beat the Cowboys. I want to pick the Cowboys, but I, you just can't. I think if, if Madge, Madge looks at the, the Cowboys' last two or three games, he should know how to beat them. Yeah. And, and the other thing is, too, I, I know they celebrated Robbie Farrer's 300th last week, but it was an away game. Yeah. So they'll make this one a yeah, special game. Yeah, and at like Oval, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, I, look, I, I've got to say, I think the Tigers as well. Yeah, did you know that Robbie Farrow, though, lost his first, lost his 50th, yeah, lost, his lost his 150th, yeah. lost his 200th, yeah. lost his 250th, and won his, won his 300. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe the 301. <laughs> all right, yeah. So we're all going Tigers? Tigers. Yeah. Okay. All right, Mount Smart Stadium on Friday Night Warriors against Canberra Raiders. Ooh, the Pommies are going to love that cold over there. Go the Warriors, a tight Raiders. Yeah, I'd, I'd, hey, I'd, I'd, I'd love to see the Raiders lose. I don't want them to keep keep on a roll. No, no, I do. The same with Pan- same with Panthers. I didn't want them to be on a roll. Yeah, but I don't know that you can. So you're tipping with your heart, not with your head. I'll be tipping the Raiders, but I'd rather see them lose. Oh, I want the Raiders to win big time, and I think they will. 
yeah, I, I think the Raiders will win as well. Suncorp Stadium, where the Broncos play Melbourne Storm on Friday night as well. Oh, yeah, Storm will be here. Mel- Melbourne won't lose. To- oh, but mind you, that was a hard game. Yeah. And that and that Brisbane pack, if they fire up, mm. gee, it could be all kinds of problems for the Storm. You could have set the Storm up for the, the next few weeks of just heartache. Oh no, wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah. <laughs> sorry, Sally. <laughs> uh, look, I'm sort, I'm, of, sort of not, but yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I, 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 I think it'll be a really tough game mm. but I think the Storm should win that yeah I, I think the Storm will actually win they always come off with. they always come off a, a loss a tough loss yeah out firing yeah, yeah but that was a 90 minute oh, yeah. bash yeah, it, it, it was, was. what does that say about the next game mm. so let's go on to the next game at Lotto Land where the Manly Seagulls are playing Newcastle Knights yeah Manly Brookie the faithful will be there to cheer them on Look, I think that, that what, this all is the, three this, of them. This is the night's last chance. I think they, they can take a they can take a wounded, tired, beaten seagulls. Not beaten as in they yeah. didn't lose, but but you know beaten down seagulls because they'll be fatigued. They'll be really nah, fatigued. Desi, Desi's too smart. Oh, so Melbourne, it's okay for Melbourne to be that way. We're not not. Yeah, but we're, we're not playing the best young pack in the comp. Yeah. Oh, we're I playing. don't know that the Broncos are the best young pack in the comp. Oh, are you come on! Me? Are you kidding? Really? Yes, I'm right. not saying they're the best pack in the comp. I'm saying often Gowie, Payne yeah, okay. Hayes, but, but all they are they're, they're Payne Guy Junior. They're, they're a young Australia pack. Three weeks, you know. They're they're the best young pack in the comp. They're the only young pack in the comp. Oh, of course, please. they're going to be the best. Oh, you amaze me. Anyway, <laughs> so anyway, who's going to win that one, Steve? What are we talking about? Manly in Newcastle? Yeah. No. Haters going to hate, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm man. leaning towards Newcastle. Oh, seriously. The man would. Thank but, you. But, 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 but it's going to be... This is the night's last chance. Really, honestly. They, they don't win. They, they, they hope their, finals, yeah. their finals are finished. I mean, they might make the eight, but they won't do anything. All right, let's go on to Bankwest Stadium where the Dogs are playing Penrith Panthers. Yeah, Panning Panthers to bounce back. I'd love, I'd is, is love, I'd love still to out? have the Dogs a chance in this game. Kickout still out? I yeah. think he, he, two weeks. he got two weeks. He, got two weeks. he yeah. makes a huge yeah. difference to that Panthers team. Because he's huge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, I don't think the Dogs can win this, but I'd love to give them a chance. Yeah, I don't think so either. I'd have to go Panthers. Uh, last game, no, not no. last game, no, last game on on Saturday, no. Cronulla Sharks against South Sydney Rebels. That was Saturday night game. Um, oh, no, you didn't play Saturday night. Friday. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know what Sharks team is going to show up. Mm. But, you, you know, look, uh, yeah, uh, Rabbits. Rabbits haven't been playing well the last three weeks. They've won, yeah. but just I tell you what, it hasn't been good. I know, neither have the Sharks, though. I know. What, At, if the Sharks were on, and it depends on whether Graham or, or Moylan. Um, Fafita's back. Fafita, is Graham back? I don't know. If Graham, if Graham and Fafita are back, back, I think I'll be tipping the Sharks. Because you haven't been convincing. No, not at all. No. But mind you, I believe Sam is back. Yeah. So we'll have two Burgesses back, which yeah. will, which is You're something that sounds of, of lack. Yeah. Why do you want to has gone back to England? He's going yeah. back to England. Because you don't he, want he him. He won't play again. There's no love. There's no love there. We can't oh, afford it. Yeah. yeah, but the, the Bunnies don't oh, love him anymore. The Bunnies don't have loved him. They're, embar- they're embarrassed and ashamed, so they turned their back on him. Forgive <laughs> and forget. They, they just wanted Sam, so they, they forgive and forget. showed their love. Yes, so they've forgiven him and they've forgotten about him. <laughs> Sorry. George is, has taken a huge offer to go back. Because yeah, you didn't want him. Well, we were because trying to ashamed. find a place for him. Sorry? They're ashamed. He's in embarrassment. Yeah. We're trying to find him. This is George we're talking about. He's he, in embarrassment he, to you. He, he, Single-handedly, they almost won us the grand finals. So yeah, he should have won. He should have won the Clive Churchill that year. All right, so we're all on the bunnies, except if Wade Graham and Matt Moylan are back. Okay. Yes. yes. But I'm staying with the bunnies. Uh, let's go to uh, Sydney Cricket Ground. Sydney hmm. Roosters against Gold Coast Titans. And honestly, Please. there will they be three people be here. Well, they have to be better. Seriously. Yeah, well, well, let me just say, you said it. it's the cricket ground. There's going to be a cricket score. Well, that's what I said last week, and it didn't happen. So, yeah, 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 but I'd, seriously, the Titans, be, the yeah. Titans are. It, maybe if they make their coach announcement and they play for Kevy, if it's Kevy, yeah. 
Apparently the Walker brothers want the job. I want to give it to the Walker brothers. So do I. I'd yeah. love to see what they've got to bring mm. with what they've done at Winner Manly or wherever they're. Ipswich. Ipswich. But anyway. Ipswich. <laughs> mm. It's closest mm. thing Queensland. True. So, yeah, Roosters need to be a lot better this, this week. And yes, they're going to be down at least two players, maybe three. Um, they do have a lot of depth, but uh, you can't replace a Jared uh, and, a, and a Boyd Corner. Yeah. Um, but uh, look, we should be winning the game. I just want to see a comprehensive win. Yeah, it wasn't. It last will week. be. It will be comprehensive. I Don't worry. So. I hope so. You need to be worried if it's close. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, last game of the round is at Net Strata Jubilee Stadium, where the St George Illawarra are playing Parramatta Eels. See, yes. Barry, you've made me want to give you some hate, but I can't pick Parramatta. <laughs> yeah, I think the Eels will win this. Really? Yeah, I do. Oh, and Barry. There's your second team. Yeah, I'm still Barry, I'm, I've got to be objective. Okay. Now, now Barry, I, 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 I don't want to pick the Eels. I don't want to pick the Dragons either. <laughs> so you're going for a draw? Oh, I probably will lean towards the Dragons because it's not a Bank West. And I don't think Paramount yeah. are a different team I, than Bank I've West. Got to, I've got to tell you, yeah. I think the Dragons are going to win this one. Mm. And I think they're going to win it comfortably. Now, the difference could be Blake Green. Blake Ferguson. Yeah. Is he back though? That's what I'm wondering. Yeah. When he's back. Yeah. Well, they played pretty well without him. Yeah. But then that was a Bankwest. Yeah, Bankwest is a different animal. Well, yeah. I think they've only lost once at Bankwest so far. They haven't played Manly there yet. We will. <laughs> this man's just not objective, is he? I've been hey. away for three weeks and he hasn't changed one iota. You Excuse me. You should hoping. go away again. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to change. I was hoping. Wrap it up. You got anything intelligent you want me to wrap it up with? Under the radar, baby. That's all I've got to say. No radar. When we're, we're next, in the next few weeks, when we beat Melbourne again, the Raiders, and Parramatta at Bank West. Can you mark the time on this recording so we can play it back to him if he... If he Trust me. When, when, we, when, we, when we beat them... Eat his words. When we beat them and the Warriors... Okay, wrap it up. Come on. You got to, we're still be under, we'll still be under the radar. <laughs> under the radar. Yeah, until the same is, and then you'll be so far below the radar, it won't matter. That's right. I'm Tom, right anything now. you want to end it with? I don't know. We're the incumbent premiers, only dang on to that at the moment. We're not going so well. What's that got to do with anything? Oh, just because we, we're not travelling all that well at the You're moment. You're scared. I am a bit scared. All right, I'm going to wrap this man to side. Thank you all for watching. This is An Hour from the Sidelines with Tom Bryan and Steve, and we're going to do it all again next, next week. week. Oh, Thank yeah. you for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.